I grew up in Christchurch, New Zealand, quite a long way from here, and racing brought me to Italy. Uh, it's where all the great drivers start in karting. Italy is almost the capital of the world in terms of karting. All the factories, they live nearby, and all the best drivers, they live in Italy. And yeah, to be the best, you have to race against the best, so you need to go to where everyone is, and um, that's mainly the reason I came to Italy. First off, it was sort of a dream to be racing in Tony Kart, let alone Ferrari. Racing there against people that I've been watching since I was like five, six years old on YouTube, that was, you know, a dream in itself. I actually met Massimo Rivola, the boss of the FDA, at a Formula 3 race. I had a small conversation with him and he then invited me to do the scouting in Maranello and Fiorano. I was the quickest on the day, competing against five other drivers. And that night, Massimo said to me, there's a really good chance of me joining the, the FDA, which again, I was extremely pleased, extremely happy, elated really. And uh, he said, testing starts in two weeks in Formula 4. And um, that was the beginning of the journey and here I am. To be a part of the FDA, the Ferrari Driver Academy, it's a huge advantage. I'm a racing driver, naturally I'm always thinking about racing, but I'm living motorsport, I'm in Maranello, I'm constantly surrounded by the best engineers, the best drivers, even the people that own restaurants in Maranello are just so motorsport orientated. So just living motorsport essentially is a big advantage compared to other drivers who I race against in Formula 2. As well, I get to work with the best engineers, guys that have been winning F1 championships, you know, from before I was born. Getting experience um, from these guys, it's really um, extremely special. And I'm also just a motorsport fanatic, so when I get to speak to these guys, I always draw inspiration from it, and it's a big advantage. In the FDA, we obviously have access to a lot of simulators, a lot of training facilities, a lot of people to help us, guide us in the right direction. I'm constantly practicing, always on a simulator, always in a gym, always doing mental training. It's all organized by the FDA, and the target is just to make me a complete driver. It's extremely difficult to try and nail every single aspect of being a driver, because there's so many, there's so many variables to the sport but you know, we're, we're doing our best, we're absolutely pushing. We never leave a, a stone unturned and that's what makes the difference in the end. Formula 2 itself is extremely competitive. So many variables to Formula 2. You can do everything perfectly and then not get a trophy at the end of the race just because there's strategy, tire management, Obviously, things that are out of your control, crashes. In the end, you just need to do the very simple things right and try to eliminate every single mistake possible. The FDA, they try and guide me. They try and give me the best advice possible and give us small advantages and compared to other teams. I've driven both a Formula 1 car and a Formula 2 car. Formula 2 is, is a very different beast, uh, let's say, because Formula 1 is it's uh, obviously remarkably fast, but everything's perfect in an F1 car. The gear shifts are perfect, the drivability is perfect, uh, the ride, everything is very smooth in a way, and you have so much grip that you just need to have a very, very strong neck, and you need to know where you want to put the car. In Formula 2, we don't have power steering, the car is very rough to drive, Often you're fighting the car like you'd be fighting a bull or something, just trying to get the maximum from the car. So they're very, very different. But also in Formula 2, tyre management is, is very, very critical. You know, one of the best things about Formula 2 is the show, and tyre management makes a very good show. So we need to be very smart and calculated, and not only fast. Formula 2, yes, we're the first championship to go to the 18-inch tyres. It is a different ball game. It changes um, the car dynamics quite a lot. 
It's more than you'd expect. Obviously, from a spectator's standpoint, it is obviously just simply a bigger rim. But when you're driving the car, you feel quite a big difference. Bumps and curbs, um, the car reacts very differently. The compliance is very different. You need to run a very precise tire pressure to maximize the grip you have. Obviously, the shape and the stiffness of the tire has changed. But in saying that, I have full faith in the Formula One grids. All the drivers, they know what they're doing. All the engineers as well, they're there for a reason. So I think they're gonna get on top of it very quickly.